Hello my lovely crafters, this is Crafty Sue 519 Welcome to my channel and welcome to my Saturday mishmash. Well this is a mishmash today. I have some happy mail, not an entry, happy mail, and I have a swap and I have a couple of hauls and some project shares. So it's going to be a busy little mishmash. So let's start with the happy mail. I got this green envelope in the mail and I thought it was an entry to my challenge until I looked at the name on the front of the envelope. And I said, wait a minute, she already entered my challenge. So I had to look to see what it was. And this is from Susan Tootsie Tucker. So green not only happens to be my favorite color, it's also St. Patrick's Day coming up next week. So she made me this beautiful card. Look how pretty this is. I love all the cards, with all the um, papers she used on here. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's pretty. Four. Four, not counting the card itself. So that's a lot of a lot of um, layers. She does that. She's great at it, too. And pretty. And she left the inside blank so I can use it. And she put her name, made with love, Susan T. 2021, in gold pen. Very nice. I love it, Susan. Thank you so much. What a surprise. I didn't expect this at all. And in it were these little violets that she was making on her channel. And oh my gosh, I just love them because wild violets are my absolute number one favorite flower. Look how beautiful they are. Oh. I told Susan when she had made these, I said one year, when I was living in Rhode Island and my boys were young and we lived out in the country and we lived on a couple acres of land and had lots, lots of woods behind us. So we had a lot of wild violets back there. So one year for Mother's Day, they decided to go out in the back and in, into the woods and they dug up a bunch of wild violets. And I had a rose garden on the side of my house and they, planted the violets in the rose garden with the roses. Well, it was a beautiful surprise, and I'm sure I must have cried that they thought to do this knowing that they were my favorite flowers. But violets are like weeds. They spread. That rose garden was covered in violets. Over the little wall I had, into my front yard, and violets were everywhere. Not that I minded, they were beautiful, but they are very invasive. <laughs> but they are beautiful. I love this, Susan. Love it, love it, love it. My favorite flowers. Haven't seen them in a long, long time. Long time. And she sent me this little note, and it said, Hi, Sue, I heard you love flamingos, so I used alcohol inks to color her. They are so much fun. Here are a few violets too, just to make you smile. Well, you made me smile for sure. Love you, Susan, 2021. And look at, look at this that she sent. Pretty green paper. Look at this flamingo. Look at Dina. I have a flamingo too, and it's metal. It's metal, and she painted her. Look how pretty that is. Isn't she pretty, so shiny. And it says, to Sue, love Susan 2021. And there's a little hook on her so I can hang her on the wall. Isn't that cool? Thank you so much, Susan. What a wonderful surprise this was. That's so kind of you. Now this Florida house finally has a flamingo in it. The only flamingos I have are for Christmas time. We actually have 
little flamingos that we put out that are lighted at Christmas out in the front yard. So that was my happy mail. And it is happy. I got flamingos and a beautiful card and violets. Thank you so, so much. So I did that circle pocket swap with Judy last month. And I got mine in. And I got a little note from Judy that says, Dear Sue, thanks so much for joining in the swap. Donna and I appreciate it so very much. Hugs and God bless Judy from my scrapbook loft. So, let's see who I got. I got Michelle Espy. Espy. I haven't taken these out to look at yet. So here's her. Oops, little tags falling out. How cute. Embrace the journey. This is like a doily here that she made the pocket part with. Isn't that pretty? Pretty paper. Pretty pink. My colors. Look at that. Pink and mint green. My colors. And a bunch of tickets to be able to use. Awesome. And butterfly. Look. <laughs> butterfly. Beautiful. Love it, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very pretty. And this one is from Teresa, who is Carolina Bug here on YouTube. I just open an entry to my challenge from her the other day. Look, Teresa, I got this from you. Oh, pretty pink. And it looks like she used some uh, glossy accents and put some glitter in it. <laughs> cute butterfly. Oh, look how cute. I'm crafty and you know it. <laughs> how cute is that? How cute is that? Hugs and kisses, how cute. I just love these little embellishment things. I, I just love them. A pretty heart and a beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm -hmm. Very pretty, thank you so much. Very nice, very nice. Okay, and the last one is from Miss Martha Hamilton. Martha, I got one of yours. How do I get in here? Okay. How pretty that is on the back to close the bag. Oh boy, Judy, you sent me all butterflies. <laughs> Did you have that in mind? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at that beautiful butterfly. And this is felt, the background, with this beautiful butterfly paper. Ooh, that's real pretty butterfly paper. The green bling, love it. it says good times. And inside, she had these little Stamps and this little embellishment. And that's sticky on the back. That's cool. Look at that. How cool is that? And she also put in here, this is on a piece of foam, so I can use that foam. And she put this wood heart. I'm going to take this piece off go. And it says love. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? Very pretty. Thank you so much, Martha. I love it. Love it. And thank you, Judy and Donna, for doing these swaps. They're so much fun. I got to do this month's. Donna is the hostess this month. And you have to make something, and it has to have a button on it. Have something in mind. Just haven't had a chance to make it yet. Okay, I have a tiny little 
Dollar Tree haul, and I mean little. I don't even remember what it is because I bought it a few days ago. All right, let's see. I've got another pack of these blingy stickers because I used them on a project I made. And I bought some of this lacy ribbon that I can use on MDEXs and ATCs. I bought some of these little rubber bands, they're clear. And I saw Soleil making bows and using these to tie the center of the bows, and I thought that was such a great idea. So while I was there, I bought those, and I got these very glittery butterflies. Like I don't have enough, right? <laughs> I can't resist when I see them. So that's what I got from Dollar Tree. Small haul, but a haul nonetheless. And then from Amazon, I got this MDEX die, and it's stitched all on the edge. And I like the corners, that's why I bought it. See how pretty the corners are? So, have to see, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> allergies, allergies, allergies. Have to see who's wanting an MDEX in there challenges and I can use my new index ties. So that's that haul. Then I did a peachy cheap haul. And what I got, and I've never bought anything like this before, but I was curious and it was very inexpensive. What I got from peachy cheap were these card kits. The Prima and they are unlike anything I've ever used before. I know they're old. Um, they've been around for quite a while. But the price was right. You get to make eight cards and a kit. And you can foil. They give you special sheets where you can foil. So I got two. It came with two sets. So I'll show you. I'll show you what you get. So, you get some bling. These are the rub-ons that have the sticky on it that you can attach, rub the foil onto to put on your card. And I did make a card to, to show you what you can do with one of these kits. So those are the those are them. It's pretty. It's got flowers and butterflies. It's got some sentiments. This one's a whole sheet one. And these are all five by seven cards, by the way. So they're bigger than what we're used to making. Here's the foil sheets. Comes with six foil sheets. Two gold, two silver, and two copper. And then it comes with 16 five by seven sheets of paper. And this is very heavy cardstock very heavy and six are solid and six are patterns and I'll tell you I looked at these patterns and I went yeah <laughs> reminded me of Judy's ugly paper swap and I went what am I going to do with that and I sat here for a long time trying to figure out what the heck was I going to make and it comes with eight envelopes and eight um, card bases. So you get everything you need to put a set of cards together. Oh, and I forgot, it's off to the side. And you get a bunch of ephemera. 34 pieces of ephemera in the pack. So, I said I should make a card and show everybody what you can do with one of these kits. Or if you have a kit and you're stumped like I was at first because I hated the papers and I couldn't understand Prima, my favorite paper in the world. And they, they sent me ugly papers. Ugh. So what I decided to do, and everything on here is just from the kit. I didn't take anything from my stash. Took one of the white card bases, took some of the ephemera, I put the ugly paper 
as the background and the papers match. So see how the solid color matches perfectly with the pattern paper. So I took the solid piece and cut it down and found some ephemera pieces that I liked to put in the corners. And if you can see the hello, that is on there with the gold foil using those rub-ons. And I put three of the gems that came in the kit on the side. And I thought, hey, not too bad after all. If I don't like the paper, put it behind a solid piece, that's all. And then I, some of the strips that I cut off, I just put on the inside with one of the pieces of ephemera. So that's the little card I made from that kit. And I made one other card. It has nothing to do with this kit, but inspired by, I don't remember, one of the people who sent me um, an entry. And she had beautiful butterfly sayings on her entry. And I, I really liked that. So I went online and I was looking at inspirational butterfly sayings and everything and found this one and really, really liked it. And it says, how does one become a butterfly? You must want to fly so much that you are willing to give up being a caterpillar. And I just thought that was awesome, awesome, awesome saying. So I made this card and here's the butterfly. I'm going to sit on the hydrangea, this beautiful paper Denise Becker had given me. And then on the inside, I just cut out one of these little flowers. It's a die I have and put a little butterfly. So I made that and I have enough cut out to make five more. <laughs> and actually all it is is using one piece of 12 by 12 paper cut into six pieces to be able to make six cards. I'm not crazy about this butterfly. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do on the other five. If I'm going to do them just like this or something a little bit different. But anyway, that's my card. Let me know what you think. And I think that's it. Anybody want a couple sofas? <laughs> I'm trying to uh, get rid of my two sofas in my living room because my new furniture comes in on Wednesday. So I'm going to have to call Salvation Army or something and see if they want them and come and get them. They're only two and a half years old and they're a lazy boy and I paid a fortune for them, but I don't like them. So thank you, tax return. We went out and bought new furniture. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. And until next time, love yous. Bye.